Who's heard about the Gibby Pyramid? Or pyramids? Yeah, it's interesting. Like, I didn't really know that there was a sacred site until a couple of years ago, just recently. So I found it really interesting. I'm sort of like, we call to support the community as much as possible. So we have invited, uh, I didn't even know there's people like camped out there on the site to protect it at the moment, how vulnerable it is at this point in time. So I've asked Jason to come along on behalf of the community and share with you. Uh, Aru, uh, my name's Darkie. Um, I'm a custodian of uh, uh, Jaki Kundu. It's uh, not a Gimby pyramid, nothing like it. Uh, Jaki Kundu is, um, features a lot of oil rings, standing stones, uh, all the way throughout. It's a very vast landscape, nothing like a pyramid. There's a lot of um, false information out there. Where do I start? I've got to be pretty quick. Basically, um, thank you all for having me here today and listening. Uh, we're a part of, we are the eldest people or culture on the planet. We're very proud. Uh, we respect our land uh, and who else is around. Um, many of you don't know, you are on Kabi land here. So it spreads all the way out from down the bottom to the South Pine River all the way up through. Uh, it's a part of our Seven Sisters uh, dreaming and our song line. Our story, all our song lines go all the way through, across the Yarra, up through the middle, through out to Bundy, up to Cairns, up through the Tiwis, back down, straight across to Arnhem Land, uh, through um, Yorta, back down, uh, like, Central Desert, all the way across um, Noongar, back down to Tasmania, across to New Zealand, all the way across the world. So every every mob has a different name most of the time, but it's all a part of Seven Sisters Dreaming. It's a sacred site. Um, we are taught it. We don't write stuff down like most people. Um, there's so much. We've been fighting for this for over 40 years, government-wise. Back in the 1800s, it was described as a paradise. Uh, basically, if you could say it now, it's like Avatar. Um, we're fighting the, the Gimpy Connection Road, which is coming through. It's hard for me to talk about it because, um, you know, it's who we are. We've asked them to move it around but Mark Bailey, the Labor government, and QTMR refuse to even budge. They've destroyed all our culture all the way through. Um, you can have a look up the Gimpy Ape, which is a stones from across, is now across the road. Um, we, the place is full of war rings, the male community, the females, uh, the women. In our culture, the women are the strongest. We've got to protect them all the way through. When we start, we've had, the last couple of weeks, we've had lots of people there. So it's been, we've been fighting for over 40 years for this place. We don't have handouts, we don't take handouts. We do it ourselves on our own back. People talk about native title. There are people out there, certain people, talking about native title, Marbo, the Constitution, 116. If, that's, if that was right, why are we still fighting for it? We don't ask for nothing else. All the way through, we haven't stopped the road. This is a sacred site. Kavi Kavi is Pleiades. Pleiades is Kavi Kavi. We are part of the Seven Sisters Dreaming, and this site is a part of the Seven Sisters Dreaming. The water spirit, two dog spirit. I just, once it's gone, it's gone. We're the oldest people living culture on the planet. The DNA now is saying that we, we are the oldest people on the, uh, on the planet. They say the Gimpy Pyramid, uh, people from Egypt come here, but if you look in the, uh, in the Egyptian pyramids on the walls of Tutankhamun, um, all boomerangs, lots of boomerangs, some aren't from here. They've made or whichever, and that's fine, that's beautiful. But 
they say that they come from here or followed here, flowed through here. Uh, China, all the way through, they um, mapped Neptune by the stars, come here. If it goes, so we've been fighting daily, daily, daily. There's so many lies. Um, there's so many lies from political to make themselves look good, to, to push a road through. I understand we don't want, we want the road, we want people to be safe. But we've asked them to go around it. It's a sacred site. It is not a pyramid. The only thing that I could say, I'm going to keep it real sweet, is because if he's come up, he's a welcome. Um, I'd like you to come up so you can see. Because, you know, we don't have handouts, we don't do that. We love our country, we love our culture, and we respect it. But together, there's been a lot of people uh, coming up. So, when I was a kid, it never would have happened. We didn't have people. We weren't allowed to speak, we weren't allowed to teach or talk our culture, we weren't allowed our language. In through here, we were taken, all our people were taken, slaughtered, poisoned, taken out to, up towards Cairns, Wurrubinda, out to Sherburg. Some of them have never been back on country. Taking country away from us is, you know, it's, it's who we are. All through Gympie and the Merry River, it's one of the best places on the earth. There's only two places in Australia known that, that has an ecosystem through the Merry River. It is the other places up in, uh, up in Darwin, through, um, all through Arnhem and all that. The rest is South America, known. I just, yeah, it's hard because it's my culture. Um, they've been trying to get rid of us for years. Um, since I was a kid, we weren't allowed to talk about it in school. And it's, it just feels funny to talk about it. But I've got to talk. Um, yeah, I'd just like this to come up and see. So, um, can I just ask you a couple of questions about it really quickly, then we're just about to have a break. So, um, so how do people find the site? Like, is it what's happening as far as camping is concerned? Like, what's protocol? What's how do they do things in a proper way? Okay, so basically, it's off uh, Rocky Ridge Road at Gimpy. Um, just come into Rocky Ridge Road, you'll see us on there on the right hand side. Uh, we welcome you. So, if you drive past, just give us a wave, come in. We can come in. See your stuff, um, show your stuff. There's material there. We've had archaeologists or other people have had archaeologists that have been there, um, people who make uh, blogs and so forth, whatever. I see material on their videos as they walk past. I see stuff. I'm the keeper of the stones. I'm Darwin. So you can come up and I can show you. I can't show you too much. I would really love to, but every time we show stuff, it gets stolen or broken. We're, we're doing 24 hour shifts at night time at the moment to, to protect it. Um, if you look on Carby Dreaming on Facebook, you'll see some stones, some heads. Um, people walk past for centuries, and, or generations, sorry, my apology, um, for generations and, and walk straight past it and never seen it. But we had to show them the other day because, yeah, people don't believe. So, it's our culture. Now, uh, camping, uh, you can come up, you just want to come for a couple of hours or talk or whatever. Uh, we go in there for bunny gatherings, so there's always bunny nuts and we always have our food or whatever, so just come up. Good idea, Jason. Yeah, yeah. Thanks,